the most holy place inside the temple. That is the source of life, the location of the life provider in the ancient Egyptian time, which we called it the Holy of the Holies. This one had been added to the temple, it's not the ancient part, it's related back to the time of the 1500 years BC. The oldest part of the temple is in the back area there, that is 2200 years BC. This one here is the Holy of the Holies. Only the king of Egypt and the high priests are the ones who are allowed to come to here. Or this platform, which is made out of granite stone, is supposed to have a boat. And this boat representing Noah Ark, symbol of salvation. And inside the boat, we have a small shrine. Inside it, we got the statue of the God which is this temple dedicated to. And let us agree together. The Egyptian, he didn't worship the statue. The statue, it is only a symbol of the God. They know very well, God is everywhere. Nobody could, no place and no, nothing could contain the whole idea of a God. But they need some physical things, idols. So they need something to worship, something to touch, something to give and receive. So the shrine here, the statue in the front of it, the high priest and the king, they came inside with the offering in their hands. And they had to kneel in the front of the uh, platform, in the front of the statue, and give the offering. I say before, in the guide box, they are saying that kings of Egypt are giving offering food supplies. And I try to recorrect that with you several times, saying that no, the only offering we give it inside the temple, it was the spirit, which is represented by perfume oil. We receive blessings over the food, but we didn't give the food, because God will not use food. We are the one who use food supplies to survive, not God. That's why I would like you to take a look up there. We're supposed to have here the platform with the statue and the boat of the God, and here is the king of Egypt. You see his body? It's a very nice and colored one, and he is kneeling in a front of the statue, and he got two rounded jars in his hand, made out of alabaster and full with perfume fire. That is the only thing he catched in his hand to give. And then we have a lion. You see that hieroglyphic line? We have a line. So this one is one scene and it's ended. And there's another scene later. And in the other scene we can see the king of Egypt sitting, not standing, sitting. He will not sit in front of the God. No way. But he's sitting and he got the key of life in his hand and he stretched his hand to a table full of food. When you give something, let us say, my friend wanted me to like to get water, so I give him water. I stretch my hand 